Hi everyone! This week we get to work on segmenting sounds. Whoa, that's a big, big thing in your mind that might make you wonder, what does that mean, segmenting? Well, once we talk about it, you will realize what that is, is counting how many sounds you hear in different words. Now this is very different from how the word might be spelled the correct way on the paper, but it's thinking about the sounds that you hear and counting them. And we're gonna do some practicing today. We're going to start with the easy sounds, the easy words that are short, and we're gonna try to do some challenging big words also. Now, when we count out the sounds, we're gonna use our hand and our fingers, and we are going to count sounds, and when the word's done, it will look like this. We're gonna pull the word. So what I mean, let's start with an easy one. This looks yummy. This is a piece of pie. And as you can see, I have two boxes underneath the pie. So that tells me that there are two sounds in the word pie. And when we count them out, this is what it will look like. P I pie. So we tell what the two sounds are and we pull the word down. Can you do it with me? P I pi. Good job. Let's try another two sound word. These are on my red construction paper. So I'm thinking about my red words and then we'll get a little harder each time. Another red word is one of our favorite places to go visit where the animals live and it is a zoo. Let's count out the two sounds and pull the word together for zoo. Z, oo, zoo. Good job, one more time. Z, oo, zoo. Excellent. One more easy red one. And then we're gonna go to three sounds. So this is pointing to this part of your body, your toe. Let's count and pull the sounds. O, toe. One more time. T, O, toe. Excellent job. Okay, we're done with the red ones, the easy ones. Let's move to our orange words, which now you're going to see three boxes. That tells me there are three sounds we need to say before we pull the word down. This is soap, soap. Let's think about those three sounds, count them, and pull the word together. S-O-P, soap. Good job, one more time. S-O-P, soap. Good job. Next one. Remember, we're just talking about the sounds we hear, so even if it's a blend at the end of the word, like you might hear in fish, the sh counts as one finger being pulled. So let's do this one together. F, I, sh, fish. One more time. F, I, sh, fish. If you were writing it, your brain might be telling you sh is two letters. It's an S and an H and you're right if you're writing the letters but the S and the H blend make one sound when they're put together. You guys are so smart. Mmm, I'm seeing these outside. As the springtime comes, we're seeing a bug. We're seeing bugs outside. This is a bug. Three sounds in bug. Let's count and pull. B, a, g, bug. One more time. B, a, g. Bug, good job. I think we're ready for green. Green is four boxes, four boxes. Oh, this little guy's cute. Looking at that zoo picture and now a hippo. Let's do four sounds. Pull the word for hippo. <sighs> I, p, o. Hippo, nice job. One more time. H, I, P, O, hippo.
Bobo. Good job on the four sounds. How about milk? Milk, I have to tell you, I had two of these milk pictures. The other one said the word right on it. So I thought, let's challenge the smart brains that are watching this video and just have that picture on there and sound out the sounds all by ourself. Four sounds, then we'll pull the word milk. Mm, I, o, k, milk. Yes, one more time. Mm, I, o, k, milk. Nice job. Let's do one more green one. How about lamp? Four sounds, pull the word lamp. Let's do it together. L, a, m, p, lamp. One more time. L, a, m, p, lamp. So smart. You guys are doing excellent. Do you think we're ready for a couple harder ones? Like five boxes for monkey. Let's give it a try. Let's try to count those five sounds out and pull that word monkey together. Ready? Mm, uh, mm, k, e, monkey. Ooh, nice job on this challenging word, monkey. Let's try it one more time. Mm, uh, mm, k, e, monkey. Yes, nice job. One more blue. Five boxes. Ooh, lemons, sour. Sour to eat these lemons, but they are good. Let's try five sounds in lemon and then pull the word together. L-e-m-a-n, lemon. Good job, one more time. L-e-m-a-n, lemon. Yes, nice job. So there is one more color. It's pretty challenging. It's the yellow words. And I have a six box challenge for you. I know you can do it because you are so smart. This is a tomato and tomato has six sounds. You think we can do it? Six sounds, pull the word together. Let's go friends. Uh, mm, oh, tomato. <gasps> did you see my, my picture just fall in the back? The sticky tack did not stick. That's okay. Let's do tomato one more time. T, uh, mm, eight, oh, tomato. You guys are so smart. We're going to do one more together. And this is a school word that you guys would be wearing to school next fall. You can wear your backpack to school and we're going to sound out the six words together. Pull the word backpack two times. Ready, set, here we go. Backpack. B -a -k. P -a -k. Backpack. Nice job. Do you want to do the last time without my voice? I'll still use my fingers, but you tell me the sounds. Here we go, backpack. I think I heard you, you were so loud. Good job, you even mastered the yellow six sound words. Friends, you are doing an excellent job with this online learning. I know it's not our first choice. We would much rather be at school, but this is a pretty cool way for me to still talk with you each week and for your brains to be challenged and learn all of these fun things. So we are done for this week with our phoneme segmentation, that big, big word for number Four, week four of online learning. I will see you next week and I can't wait. Bye.